guys I am currently in the rec room and I originally started vlogging today with the purpose of showing you my leg workout however I um, well I guess life happened and I didn't get to my workout so that's gonna happen tomorrow but I had this feeling on my heart and I really just wanted to share it with you guys um, about common perceptions of ourselves and the reason behind why people diet and how to actually get to the ideal body that you want to. Um, I feel like a lot of us females, especially guys too probably, are always just so hard on ourselves and, and as soon as we realize that we need to lose weight, we're just like weighed down with all of these negative thoughts and perceptions of ourselves that it's almost like creating this negative energy to make a change but when you think about it if that's all that's motivating you that is like a, a really counterintuitive place to get your body to the place you want it to be like to be happy and to feel good because you're berating yourself in that process just to feel better which doesn't really make sense I guess technically like two negatives equal positive but not in this case like I'm I'm guilty myself, but I think we need to start looking at it as more of an acceptance of where we are and just acknowledging that and realizing what we can be doing to better ourselves and do better. So um, that's my point on just our perception of ourselves. Like I feel like <laughs> it's more like a body positive speech I'm giving you guys, but I feel like we need to give ourselves more credit for what our bodies can do and just loving our bodies for what they are doing and just being happy and content and blessed with where you are and using that to move forward into that motivation you have to get into better shape, to feel more energized, to live a more healthier life. Um, and the second part is how to get there um, is just trying to switch your mindset so that you're not starting from a place of deprivation but from a place of acceptance again I guess same as being accepting of your body but just realizing if I need to lose weight in general period I need to obviously sacrifice a bit of enjoyment in my life just to get there, but it's not going to be permanent. It's temporary. And when you think of it that way, rather than thinking of all the things you can't have, all the things that you you have to stop eating just to lose your love handles, like that's, <laughs> that's just a really quick fix and a shortcut to self-destruction. Um, I'm pretty sure like 98% of the population out there struggles with binge eating. Like in the world that we live in now, it's this instant gratification that we always have to have or else like crap, like my life sucks. Like that's just, God, it's so frustrating. So all of that to say is why can't we just look at it from like a place of gratitude and be thankful for something that we have every day and then just realizing that I don't have to be deprived for the next year of my life. I'm just gonna take these next couple months, cut back on a little bit of enjoyment because I know that it's gonna get my body to the way I want it to be. And at the same time, like I was saying before, just practicing self-love. Um, yeah, just, these are just, this is a weird big rant, but I wanted to kind of segue into a few more talks I'm gonna have on this channel um, just about tips and tricks and mindset shifts that really need to happen to get yourself in a place of content with where you are with where you want to be and just taking that focus away from I can't I can't I can't I hate I hate I hate oh and self-deprivation and um, yeah I'm just rambling now but I just uh, that was on my mind. I don't even know if it made sense, but we need to focus on how to get ourselves there 
the right way and to live in that right mode. If that makes sense. Anyways, um, I've been in that place of severe deprivation and I've seen it rebound pretty hard the other way. Um, it's not fun and it almost just creates this downward spiraling rhythm or downward spiraling pattern that it just keeps getting lower and lower and lower and yeah I just it doesn't have to be that way and it's all in the mind it's all in the mindset and just making that switch in your head is probably the one thing that you're missing this whole time so yeah um, maybe I'll catch you guys tomorrow or something but thank you for listening to my ramble have a good night guys peace Close your eyes and just stay tight, we have to go. Stay with me while we leave, don't worry, just believe me, this journey.